Hey everyone! Today I have something very interesting for you. Finally, we are getting closer and closer to the epic battles that you can't take your eyes off of in the Skibidi Wars multiverse. If you want to see all four titans fighting side by side against a huge monster, I highly recommend you to put all your business aside for the next 10 minutes and trust me, Today I'm going to analyze the 72nd, 73rd, and 74th episodes for you guys, and then show you all the secrets and Easter eggs I managed to find. Is Scientist Toilet really back in the battle? What upgrades did the Toilet Emperor get? How much damage did the Titans take? And what abilities does the Plunger TV Man have? Get your tea and snacks ready and watch this video to the end. It's definitely the most epic thing you'll see today. Let's go. Okay, episode 72 is before your eyes, my friends. The POV looks up, and we see a SWAT toilet. Underneath him there is a swimming pool, and to the right of it there is a cameraman. It's interesting, but in the window of every building we can see the reflections of the toilets. It looks like the Skibidi toilets have completely taken over this city, and are living in the apartments, and watching the whole battle from their windows now. In any case, the Speaker Titan comes to our rescue. He destroys the SWAT toilet, and we all guys should salute this Titan in the comments. If you've watched my past analyses, you know that this guy has lost to a lot of guys, and the first toilet he was able to destroy was only in episode 70. So this SWAT toilet was the Titan's second win. He throws this bug off a cliff, and then we see how the Toilet Emperor decided to stand up for the kid. Now the big boy has protection on his face and two Titan cameramen logos. We saw such protection in episode 39 of the original series on one of the Skibidi toilets. But I don't know how the Toilet Emperor got the fins with the Titan cameraman logo. Several large claws have appeared behind his back, and you'll soon find out what they're for. Also, Toilet, says the phrase, you are nothing, Emperor, during his reappearance. And exactly the same phrase was said by Scientist Toilet when he helped G-Man against Astra Toilets in the 60th episode of the original series. Looks like Speaker Titan doesn't want to repeat the mistakes he made in episode 61, and decides to just run away from the battlefield. Are you serious, man? You could have at least brought your POV with you? Toilet Emperor lands next to us, and we see some more Skibidi toilets. Among them, there is a Skibidi saw and some Skibidi vans. It looks like the Skibidi vans have had improvements, and now their guns are blue. The Emperor points his finger downward, and at that moment, something interesting can be noticed. Underneath his core, there is a strange thing that looks like a toilet entrance. Maybe it's a normal texture, but from this angle, it looks like an entrance. I've already theorized that the Toilet Emperor may actually be a large robot controlled by the regular Skibidi Toilets, referring to the fact that his body is an exact copy of Gypsy Danger from the movie called Pacific Rim, where humans controlled robots. But let's get back to the episode. A few seconds after the thumbs down, we realize where our frightened Speaker Titan went. He's back, but this time he's with his friends. Look at how epic their emergence is. All three boys are back in town and there's Tri-Titan in charge of them. So next episode, we're about to see some real madness. I'm ready to show you this madness right now, as 73rd episode is already on your screens. We are immediately greeted by an epic battle. At the beginning of the episode, we see the drone that Tri-Titan was controlling on remote in episode 71, flanked by two cameramen who have a special camera device. It's like the one we saw on the cameraman in episode 60 before he was destroyed by the Toilet Emperor. We see the Speaker Titan face to face with the Skibidi Saw. His hands look different from the original series and seem to be made of rusty metal. This is the third time Titan faces another opponent, and this guy seems to have gotten the hang of it. And in the background, TV Titan is doing the same thing. On one of the buildings, you can see a pool with a single palm tree. It's the same pool from the last episode. The Emperor attacks the Speaker Titan and rips off his jetpack. The Emperor also has a special protection on his head that resembles a microphone. He probably needs it to hear better, but we didn't see it in the 60-second episode. Blood is being interceded by the Titan cameraman who gives him a devastating blow with a hammer right to the head. The Emperor shows him a gesture that says something like, Dude, it's not gonna be that easy, which is a reference to episode 57 of the original series, where Titan cameraman showed the same gesture to Speaker Titan during their battle. The Emperor strikes with the jetpacks in his forelegs, and next to them, Tri-Titan destroys the Skibidi bathtub. The Titan cameraman's powers are not enough to finish the whole thing, and in another attempt to attack the Emperor, he uses his core, and it seems that this shot hurt the Titan quite badly. By the way, 
He used the same shot in episode 61 against Speaker Titan, and we remember how strong that attack was. The Titan cameraman falls down completely exhausted, and here you can see his hammer, and the back of it very much resembles an airplane turbine. The POV drone flies up to him, and this time the Titan himself points his finger down. This is not the end of this guy's suffering, and the scientist toilet wants to do away with him. He has a circular saw that he wants to cut the camera with. I don't understand why he's holding the saw vertically, though. We saw something like that in episode 67 of the original series. When the scientist used red radiation to force Titan to cut his camera, we saw that in order to do that, the saw had to be positioned horizontally. Dude, turn your damn saw around if you're really gonna hurt his head. Also, the last time we saw the scientist was in episode 60, and there he was destroyed by a camera cannon, and his head looks nothing like the one this scientist used to have. It seems the Skibidi army in this multiverse has multiple versions of the scientist, just like the Alliance has multiple versions of TV Titan. His toilet also has claws on it, just like TV Titans. It seems Skibidi toilets got access to Titan designs, and that's why the Emperor has fins with the Titan cameraman logo, and the scientist has TV Titan claws. Okay, this time TV Titan covers his little brother and pounces on the scientist, but the Emperor manages to deal with him by kicking Titan like a ball. By the way, the scientist has an interesting weapon on his second hand, the same weapon we saw in Skibidi Toilet from episode 49, and it's a special capsule from the game Half-Life 2 that was needed for transportation of prisoners if you didn't know. Then Tri-Titan decides to show who's the real boss here and slaps the Emperor right in the face. The toilet uses his core again, but it looks like this shot just tickled Titan and he lowers his chambers. But then we see the Toilet Emperor's new weapon. He pulls out two huge blades, and we saw an older version of this weapon in Episode 62, but it was more like a toothpick and didn't do much damage. And this time, the Emperor even managed to stab a Titan through and through with it. Jesus Christ, man, why didn't you attack his core? Why is the entire Skibidi army in this multiverse blind? The G-Man who shot at the Allied toilets, the Phantom TV Titan who missed everything and didn't hit any of the cameramen, they all act the same, so does this fool too. He missed the Tri-Titan core and hit right under it. This dummy gets another slap on the wrist like a schoolboy who didn't do his homework, and his father decided to punish him for it. With the next blow, Tri-Titan destroys the defense on the Emperor's face, and he decides to use his cannons behind his back. The same cannons were used by the scientist toilet in the original series, and can easily be seen in the 67th episode. The shots from these cannons deal serious damage to the Tri-Titan, and it seems our boy is sick of these games, and in response he uses his glow. It literally sets the Emperor on fire, but doesn't destroy him. Strange, but it seems this glow should have made the Emperor scream in pain and not be able to move. But the prick didn't fall into hypnosis and was even capable of using his hands. I'll remind you that the same glow in episode 59 caused a huge explosion and destroyed G-Man. Not only that, but this time Tri-Titan has gotten some serious upgrades and the glow from his TV should have been even more powerful. But it looks like we don't know much about the Toilet Emperor, and his abilities are more serious than we think, since he was able to withstand such a blow. The Emperor then gets into a Jigachad pose and gets teleported by the Toilet Scientist along with him. We see all three Titans, and the Speaker Titan gives them a thumbs up. It doesn't look like the Titans are seriously injured, and even after such powerful attacks from both sides, none of them got seriously hurt. And for the dessert, we have episode 74, friends. The events of this episode take place in the same location that we saw before, but this time in the daytime. Titan cameraman returns Speaker Titan, his jetpack. Here we can see a helicopter, just like it was at the beginning of the 62nd episode, and the location reminds me a lot of the 18th episode of the original series. In the same field, we saw Titan Cameraman for the first time. And after that, something crazy happens. We see another Titan TV man teleporting here. This is the same guy who appeared in the 55th episode of Skibidi Wars. And if you don't understand why we see two TV Titans at once, let me explain. It seems that in this multiverse, there are several versions of Titans, but with different enhancements from the original series. The TV Titan who has a red sphere instead of a core is the very first version of Titan TV Man from the original series. And as we remember, after the improvement in Skibidi Toilet episode 44, Titan TV Man got some speakers and we started calling him Cinema Man. So this second version appeared in this episode with the same speakers and helicopters on his shoulders. Damn it, bro, why didn't you show up earlier? 
Where the heck were you while the whole alliance was fighting the Emperor? Write in the comments below your own versions on where this guy was hiding all this time, as I will be very interested to know your opinion. Anyway, this guy is here, and it looks like he is not alone. In his hand, we notice another TV man, and pretty soon we will see this guy up close. The POV grabs the Skibidi toilet. His toilet has special protection on it, and one of his hands has a circular saw, and the weapon can be seen on his other hand. This weapon seems to be the one he needed to grab us with. By the way, the same weapon was on the toilet scientist in episode 30 of the original series when we first saw him. Anyway, the prick grabs us, but Plunger TV Man comes to the rescue and flushes him out. This is a reference to the 52nd episode of the original series, where Plunger Cameraman helped the POV in the similar way to flush the toilet right in front of him. Holy crap, this guy gives me goosebumps. He looks so cool, I'm already in love. He also has claws behind his back and some speakers on the TV and on the sides. Maybe he also has the capabilities of using the sonic boom. And with such an epic Plunger TV Man presentation, the episode ends. Write your opinion on Plunger TV Man in the comments below. And let's also discuss how the Toilet Emperor was able to survive the Tri-Titan's glow. And that was me, Isotoilet. See ya!